why Mr. John Hudson is back for the unbiased UFO report. And, you know, John, sometimes, you know, we don't like some of these stories that come out. And we're going to get to a very sad story right off the bat here involving a friend of this show in Erica Luke's and her ex-husband, Chris Marks. I mean, this has got very ugly and and we all want to support Erica in this time of of need. You know, I, I don't know how else to put it, but just a horrible story coming out of Utah. Yeah, a very rough story. And, and you know, unfortunately, um, you know, we, we've seen a couple of stories like this come up. And so, you know, I, I think this is just a reminder that, you know, once our community gets big enough, statistically, we're going to get all sorts of different people into here. And, you know, some of these people need more help than others. And, um, you know, we've all seen people getting pushed to the edge um, in, you know, debates and, 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 uh, and fighting matches and so forth. And, um, you know, I mean, you know, this is, you know, this is someone who's, you know, clearly, you know, not, not, uh, you know, not, not doing well. And, um, and so it's, it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's a really unfortunate thing, but I think it's something that, you know, you know, we should all be cognizant of that, you know, there could be other people in our community that, that seem very normal to us online, but behind the scenes, their lives are, you know, in a really bad place and you never know, you know, who, who might need help and who might not. And, and I think, you know, we all got to do a good job of, uh, you know, of reaching out to each other for that, for that very reason, Dave. All right. So let's explain what happened here. And it was recently put out on Fox news in Utah out of Salt Lake city where Erica Lukes, who's uh, was married to Chris Marks. They are now in the midst of getting a divorce after a domestic some domestic violence here yes yes and and, and i want to add that that essentially a lot of us saw this relationship evolve right we saw it when they first got together we saw you know how she talked about him and how i mean she she had you know she she really was a was a a very vocal hero of his you know like i mean i mean she was very 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 good at, at just at talking about you know what he was doing and how and how proud she was of him and and you know she really defended him in in a big way and so to have it go from that to this is is just it's it's really rough but essentially it's you know it's twofold and that essentially there was actually um you know domestic violence that occurred at least you know allegedly and so that has to get investigated and then he also was on record saying a lot of things that you probably shouldn't be talking about, you know, um, and uh, in ways that you probably should be talking about. And so he's 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 got he's got an uphill legal battle in front of him. That's for sure. You know, I, I debated whether or not we should run this story. And it was debated between our entire SOR team. But you know what? We do have to bring information to the table. And sometimes news isn't pretty. And we want to show our support for Erica Lukes, who has been on this show a number of times over the years, and she's always talked highly of us. We've always talked highly of her. Nobody should have to go through any sort of domestic violence whatsoever. Now, Chris Marks, her ex-husband, he is a former security guard at Skinwalker Ranch. He's been very vocal over his treatment at Skinwalker Ranch and the way the guards were treated. He is a full-time soldier with the National Guard in in Utah. Uh, he has not been reprimanded by the National Guard as of yet. Uh, one of the other issues, and I know uh, we debated whether we were going to touch on this, but he was also caught saying some very uh, flagrant type threats to the President of the United States as well as uh, people who support the president as well which is never good and that was caught on tape and and caught on uh, on online postings as well so i mean this is just a very ugly scene and and i really hope that all of us here at spaced out radio can send some much needed love and healing over to erica lukes who's gone through a very yes. difficult situation but you know what i commend her i commend her and i and I, I hope that everybody who is suffering currently from some sort of domestic abuse, whether it's physical, verbal, whatever it may be, to find that strength to go to the police and get help. 
And if the police aren't helping, keep fighting. Go to a doctor, go to a hospital, go to your family, go to your friends, because we need that strength. And you don't have to do it all alone. And let's just hope that, you know, if all of the alleged charges against uh, Chris Marks are true, let's hope that the law deals with him in a very proper fashion. Yeah, and 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 I also I also want to say that I, I applaud her for the for the passion and energy she went into this. You know, a lot of us, you know, we've we've been hurt. We go into new situations with a lot of visible scarring, and and I just hope everyone puts as much energy into getting into things as as she did, and as much energy getting out to things uh, as she did. Yes, and please, once again, we encourage anybody who is going through this type of domestic situation to keep fighting and get help. There's always help out there. All right, let's move on to story number two, John, where Luis Elizondo. (laughs) Okay, so he was recently in the United Kingdom and he was interviewed by GQ UK. And I'm telling Mm -hmm. you, I don't know if it's uh, if if you got this opinion or not, but it really seems like they're trying to make him into the UFO sex symbol here. Yes, yes, there there are, and and, you, and the funny thing is, is that they obviously couldn't get their hands on a bunch of new picks, so they they used a lot of the same picks of Elizondo that we've all seen, but they put them in this order and they added some other things, and and yeah, I mean, you, they're definitely you know suggesting that he should be wearing some pretty expensive suits and and uh and you know catching the right angles and and now what's interesting is is it you know they you know they did um you know they did basically write a, a pretty good article i mean the i would say about the first half of it is a is a kind of a nice historical background on on the nimitz case and then it actually goes into an, an interview of elizondo and it's just a back and forth you know q a for the rest of the doc and it's a long it's a long article and you know if if you were if you were at all new to this scene this would be a fantastic primer to to this one aspect of it but if you've been around for a while you you know you're not really going to learn anything new but but it's it, it you know there are some different angles that are kind of presented Lou always drops something a little bit new in each interview he does but for the most part you know it was just it was a it was a really good primer but it was um it was just very funny to see, you know, uh, Elizondo, you know, in all these, like, I mean, yeah, I mean, it was like, you know, you expected to see him up there with Ben Affleck and, and Matt Damon in, in like, you know, some like, you know, three suit pose. It was pretty funny. Well, the purpose of the article, though, I think does put a humanizing look yes. on Lou. And for so long, he has been rigid, stiff, very militaristic. And yet here he is. Showing off some ham hocks, you know, and 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 looking good. Yep, 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 yep. No, and and, uh, and you know, it's it's um, you know, I, I don't know. I just I I I I think that you know you should basically do your you know do your best no matter what the circumstances are. And if you end up you know making a little bit of fun of yourself, it's all good. If you end up looking good, hey, that's all good as well. I mean, it's like, you know, I think it presented Lou in a very in a very good light. And um, and I agree with you. I think it was very humanizing. What was discussed in that article? Say again? What was discussed in that article? Um, you know, it was it was basically, you know, it, it wasn't, you know, it, it, this is the one problem when you read a lot of this stuff is it, you know, it's it's pretty hard to find new information. But they basically, you know, went over a lot of the same stuff. You know, you know what, uh, you know, when, when did you get involved in a tip? You know, what were your responsibilities? You know, um, you know what what have you seen that you know that made this had this impact on you? I mean, it was a good interview, but it was just it was unfortunately just you know it didn't actually glean anything you know, dramatically new if you're well read. But like I said, if if you're if you're, you know, you know, just a couple of years into this, it's a it's a nicely done article. And and uh and Lou is um, you know, is 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 his nice open self and and um and uh, you know half the article is this Q and A. So it's 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 the bulk of it's you know, nearly the bulk of the article itself. Very cool. Now you wanted to get into another topic tonight regarding our future in space. Yeah, so so I I knew I knew there was a good chance this might happen, and and I was just I was trying to be really optimistic, and um, you know it it was it wasn't the most exciting event 
um, in, in the world. Um, uh, first off, they, they I, I was hoping that everyone would be on a panel at the same time. That's not how it worked. Each person was interviewed separately. So you only had one person on stage with the with the guy who was interviewing. And so they just basically went through. But they were aware of each other and they were aware of each other ordering meetings. because they would make references to each other. But basically what it came down to is they actually tried. They tried to ask some good questions. Um, one of the things that they asked of of um, of um, you know DNI Haynes was they said, you know, can you speak to the trade? You know, this is how he phrased it. Can you speak to the trade craft? of identifying these objects and and actually um you know uh, taking action against them and really kind of put it on the spot and there, there's a clip of it that is floating around online you can see and um and so basically i applaud them for actually asking a lot of questions that could have resulted in some very very interesting dialogue unfortunately just because of this venue i mean uh, the DNI went into this, you know, this lengthy, you know, answer that actually didn't answer anything at all. You know, I mean, it was like it was, um, you know, th th there was a lot of dancing going on. It was it was too official. It was too it was too pretty. It was too. Um, yeah, it was just it was uh, it, it, just, it wasn't what I was hoping. It wasn't what I was hoping it would be. But it's certainly, you know, certainly very. And a lot of people did great job of, of, of grabbing clips of it. Um, and you can find clips of it all over Twitter, but you know, you, it's, it's just, it's, there was lots of opportunities for it to do something really cool, but it, that's not what happened. It, it was just kind of, uh, I don't know. I was, I was kind of bummed. I was just kind of, I, I don't know what I was looking for, but, um, I was just, I was really hoping that there would be some, you know, um, you know, really, um, groundbreaking stuff. Now I will say this, that at one point they asked, um, they asked both the NASA guy and the, and the, and the DNI, you know, what's something that your organization does that the public doesn't know about that would be, would, would really impress them. And of course, DNI Haynes, you know, basically said, I can't tell you anything that's cool because all the cool stuff we do is, you know, I can't tell you about, but the NASA guy said that um, they were only a couple months away from announcing a new um, uh, earth protection system where essentially if you, as you have a, an inbound, um, you know, an inbound asteroid or something inbound for earth that, that you know could do damage. The larger ones that can do damage often have satellites of their own. They have smaller pieces that are rotating around them as they fly, and so they figured out a way to essentially just blow up the largest satellite going around the object. And they believe that just by blowing that up, you get very little debris. But that, if they're done early enough, will cause enough of a of gravitational change that it will then the object will then veer in a different direction and not and not hit Earth. And so they're basically, I think they said they're about like six months from doing a, a full scale test. And so that's you know that's the most positive thing I've heard about about actual you know Earth planetary protection from inbound objects. I think I think it's the first time I've ever seen anyone with a real plan. Jeff Bezos during this was also asked the alien question. Yeah, and it was funny. He he basically he 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 really he really just he blew it off. He basically started laughing and said, "What with how big this universe is and all these things that you really think it's going to be? Were they going to be the only ones? Give me a break!" He basically just like totally blew it off like that. And then they pushed him a little bit, and and he's like, "Well, he goes, but you know, so yeah, so I have no doubt that they exist, but." Um, you know, I, I haven't seen any convincing evidence that they've actually like reached Earth yet, you know, like, that, you know, then he kind of, you know, pulled it back. But it was um, this was this was just a very polished, very polished event. And I don't I don't think there was a lot of people talking, you know, off the cuff, you know, just, you know, letting anything fly loose as, as I was kind of hoping. And sometimes you get that with multiple people on the same panel because they'll start they'll start playing off each other, you know, but because they did each person individually. They, they really controlled that environment really, really well. Very true. Very true. John, it's always a pleasure to have you on here for the Unbiased UFO Report. 